Hey everyone, it's Yoslin and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make these rings. They are flower rings and they just have one flower on them. So I'm going to be showing you guys how I made them today. I'm going to be showing you guys how to do this one where it's just one flower and then just one solid color. What you're going to need to make this is seed beads. You're also going to need some type of string. I'm going to be using this string. It's not stretchy at all. I actually meant to get stretchy string, but I accidentally didn't. So I'm going to be using this one. If you have a stretchy string, that works as well. But I'm just going to be using this one for this video. And then you're also going to need scissors to cut the string. That is everything you need to make these rings. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so here I have all the supplies that I'm going to be using to make this ring right here. I meant to get stretchy string, but I accidentally got this nylon string. Which it's fine because it works. But if you want, you can get stretchy string. But just know for this video, I'm using this type of string that i got at joanne's craft store i'm also going to be using these seed beads i also got these at joanne's craft store the same day so i'm going to use these colors you can use scissors but i'm just going to be using these to cut the nylon and then i have some more beads in here and i'm just going to use one gold bead for the middle flower so i'm going to move this to the side you're going to want to get your string if you want to use stretchy string that's fine once again i meant to get stretchy string but i ended up getting the wrong type but it's okay. So I'm just going to cut this. Just cut a random amount. I don't really measure it because it's better to have excess string. So obviously this is a lot of string. I'm going to open these up. I don't want to have three colors. So you're going to need the color of your petals. And then you're going to need a color for the middle of your flower. And then a color for your ring. This string, it's important that you get one that's small enough to go through the seed beads. I did a flower ring a long time ago. And I had to use a needle to go through the seed beads. I'm going to be adding some of the white seed beads. And this is going to be my band color. I'm going to start off with like five of them. It really doesn't matter how many of these you put on. Just because these are going to go around the whole ring. Now you're going to want to add your petal color. For my petals, I'm doing blue. So I'm going to be adding four blue beads. So I'm just going to add those on. And I'm only going to demonstrate how to do the flower once. So I'll try to show you guys how to do it close up. Okay, so it looks like this. Doesn't matter how many white beads or band color beads you put on. We're just focusing on the petal right now. So I have four petal beads. And then I'm going to add my center color, which is gold. Oh, it looks like this. So this is the important part. And this is when we're going to start making the flower. You're going to want to get the string. And you're going to put this through the last bead. So I'm just going to get my last one. And I'm putting it through. And then I just pull this through. And it'll look something like this. Obviously, this doesn't look like a flower because we're going to be adding three more of the blue beads. So I'm adding three more of these blue beads or whatever color you guys are using. It should look something like this. And you're going to be putting this string through the color that's closest to the gold bead. So on this one, as you guys can see, these ones, these three beads are all close together. So you're not going to be putting the string through this bottom one. So uh, hopefully that makes sense, but you want to put this string through the bead that's closest to the gold bead like this one right here as you can see it's like separated from the other ones i'm gonna do this and this is gonna make it look like a flower so you guys can see which one i put it through and then i'm gonna pull this now i have my little blue flower so this next part i'm going to be putting in time lapse and basically all i'm going to be doing is adding on the white beads because this is the band color so i'm just going to be adding on the white beads to both of the sides
Okay, so I added on all of my band beads. I didn't really count because I was just measuring it. And how I knew I had enough is I would just hold it like this. And then I'd put it on my finger. And if it fits, then I had enough beads. So I still haven't tied it. So I'm going to show you guys how to tie it. What I do is I just have my string and I make a regular knot. As you guys can see. And I just tighten it. But I kind of don't tighten it all the way until I make my second knot. And I just pull this. You just pull it as tight as you can. That way there's no spaces in your flower and in the band beads. And then I'm going to tie it a third time. I usually tie it three times just to make sure it's not going to come undone. And then once I do that, I put the two strings together. And then I make a knot like this. Just pull it through this. Like so, and then I just try getting it as close to the ring as I can. So there's the knot right there. So now I have my knots, and then I can cut the excess ring. And that's how you make a flower ring. Alright, so as you guys saw, these are super easy to make. This is how they look. I meant for this one to be on my middle finger, but I guess I made it a little bit too small. So it fits my ring finger, but this is how they look. I really like them. They're super simple. And this is how the inside looks. I can't really see where I tied them since the elastic is clear. You can do these with like the string that I used, but I think I prefer stretchy string because it stretches so it's easier to take off it's really up to you but this is how they look i like them i feel like they can match a lot of different things and you can like make a whole bunch of different ones with different colors this one i kind of used bigger seed beads for the flower but i still really like them both and if you guys try this out comment down below how your rings turned out but that is it for today's video and if you enjoyed it don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys soon bye